we'll check Rainer out now. Once again, on my favorite map. Choose a talent. Raiders roll. See, my options are Path of the Assassin, gain damage every level, Demolitionist, where my attacks drain the ammo from these structures, Adrenaline Rush heals for more, Bribe, kill, uh, kill minions to bribe a mercenary camp. I've never actually Battle done that one. In 30 seconds. But I'm gonna try that because I've actually I've never ever taken bribe on any character ever, and it's supposed to be really good. It just doesn't sound very exciting to me. But let's check it out. So my base talents is Rainer. I have penetrating round. That's my uh, long range attack. I have inspire, which buffs heroes around me. Uh, Adrenaline Rush is my passive Five, that heals me when four, I get low on health. Three, and then lead two, from the front. Enemies killed nine, within the short time by be after being damaged by Rainer. Reduce the cooldown of his abilities by one second. Time to man up. So it's pretty good talents. He just wasn't very exciting, but I do like ranged heroes generally better than melee with the exception of Stitches. It was awesome. Oh, Kerrigan is actually really fun too. Actually, a lot of the melee are really fun. Uh, it just, range feels a lot more comfortable to me. Maybe it's because I'm bad and I, uh, I need that extra leeway to run away. Fire will buff my little minion guys too. Your team draws first blood. And he swing. I guess I should just be hitting that inspire on cooldown. There's really no reason not to unless I'm out of mana. Remember my attack drain structure ammo, so hopefully theoretically I can at least I can with Witch Doctor, I can attack it enough times to run it out of ammo without dying. So I don't have to wait on minions to come in. Choose a talent. Okay, increase attack and vision range, basic attacks heal your hero, empower basic attacks, cooldown reduction, I'm gonna pick the heal. Always pick the heal. That is not advice for everyone, that is advice for me personally. An enemy has been slain. Looks like we have an Abathur in our game, because Diablo here has his little Abathur hat on. Also, if you were watching the news from PAX, there is going to be a murky hero whose primary role is apparently to die a lot, but I think that would be a great hero for me, because if there's one thing I'm good at, it is dying a lot. Plus, Murlocs are awesome, so I think I think it would be a pretty good fit. I wish they would put it in the technical alpha so I could buy it. You gotta be faster than that. Let's see. Extra damage to structure, gain movement speed per inspired hero. Adrenaline Rush makes me unstoppable. That sounds awesome, but perhaps like it is overselling itself, so I'm gonna you pick the <laughs> extra damage to structures. Did we not just get a tribute? That was fast.
looks like our team has it covered. Well, fine. I will go get this watchtower then. The watchtowers are actually really important in this map in particular, I think, because you are fighting for tributes that spawn randomly around sort of the, the middle of the map. And um, knowing where the enemies are and where they're coming from is a lot more valuable here than, I don't know, say, Dragon Shrine. Okay, I have enough stacks of bribe. I don't know how to use it. Do I just... I guess maybe I need to walk up to them and then click it? It will not work on golems, by the way. That is what the tooltip says. So you can't get the awesome minions, but you can get the medium ones. So let's try this. <laughs> I so enjoy watching you that, that was fancy. And not too hard. Maybe I like that after all. I don't know. Okay, my level 10 heroic talents. I can get the Hyperion or I can get some Banshees. Both of them are awesome. Hyperion is very iconic. I've never actually tried the Banshees, um, aside from that one video I made where I just spammed my level 10 ability until I had a million cool things. So I'm going to try the Banshees. You have won my favor, heroes. Let your enemies know my wrath. This curse, I'm sure everyone is familiar by now. It makes the uh, structures not attack you back. It makes the minions all have like one health point. So it's pretty amazing when you get all three to just push in there and wreck everything. It's probably a good time to get some banshees out. Come back, Arthas. I would like to kill you. Let's see. Periodically reducing coming abilities. More survival for the squishy shitty Rainer. Keep destroyed. Banshees. Damn, killed them fast. That was disappointing. Ooh, an orb. Why do you chase me, Arthas? I'm a nice person. I'd like to point out how disappointed I am that I Twitch would not allow me to name my channel status. It's Friday, motherfuckers. And if I can't if I can't call it that, I don't know what to call it. Choose a talent. Pulse is not going down very fast. It's very disappointing to me. <laughs> this should be Gather tribute. I must have it. I 
don't know if it's worth it at this point now that we're kind of kind of working on the palace. They don't have any tributes. If they had two tributes and it would mean the curse for them, then definitely I would go for it. But since it's zero to zero, eh. It looks like Diablo's gonna get it anyway, so. Alright, let's go get another mercenary camp since, let's see, let's get the 16 one because it's higher. And I'll regen mana while I do it. Okay, let's see. Bribe and I click one and bang. I don't know if I can solo this. Let's find out. Tribute in my name. Very bad at running out of the stun here. But luckily my teammates came to help me, so. So sweet. Now we have a golem to help us. Now we might as well get this tribute since we have one already. Fireworks on the golem. Let's find out. That's Rainer. He actually wasn't too bad. Um, he's still not my favorite. He's kind of just bland, um, but he's very strong and he doesn't die a super lot, so I guess that works for me. I think he needs like tentacles or pinchers or, I don't know, breathe fire. Something to make him, you know, more exciting for my particular tastes. 